I'm Greg Dewar, broker and owner at Dewar Realty, where we get your home ready for sale so that you get more free time. And welcome back to another episode of Renovation Allocation. Today we're going to show you how we help this homeowner prepare their home for the open market. We're going to show you some simple before and after photos so you can see exactly what we did to prepare this home for sale. So we're going to start with the curb appeal. So you can see before that the house was a little dated, a little bit dreary. We did several improvements to the home, including a full cleaning on the siding, fresh paint on the shutters and the garage door. We did clean up the gardens by trimming the bushes and adding some mulch. And then of course we added some sod where they had previously parked on the lawn. In addition to that, we did also refresh the front porch paint to spruce it up and clean it up as well. So a big difference from before and after on the front porch, you can easily see that the path leading up to the porch and the stairs and porch were very worn out. The front door was hidden by the old storm door that was broken. And at some point somebody tried to spray paint the house numbers while they were still on the brick. So we cleaned all that up. It's a huge difference after we did the work, the porch is clean, the path is re-leveled. And of course the spray paint has been removed from the brick. And we also took off the broken storm door and repainted the entry door. From there, you walk in the home. The front entry was pretty tired and dated. This whole home needed a once over. The tenants were living there for about seven or eight years. And they had really done a number on the home in terms of not maintaining it or keeping it clean. They were pretty rough on the home itself. You can see right off the hop that we did replace the flooring. We also painted and redid the stairs. The railing is much brighter, much fresher. We had that big wall mirror that we kept. We just painted the metal trim around it. it makes it look like it was just done, really modern finish. And then updated the baseboards as well. From there, you transition into the living room. Again, same dated floors and paint colors. The trim was chewed up by the dog that the tenants had. So replaced all the flooring, new trim, new paint, cleaned up the windows, and then we staged the house for good presentation when buyers are coming through. After that, we're at the dining room here. You can see the house was previously dark, dated. So again, we carry through the same floor, much brighter paint color, new light fixture brightens up the space and it creates a comfortable atmosphere to sit and have a dinner. The kitchen didn't require too many changes. It's not exactly your most modern functional kitchen, but it had been replaced about 10 years ago. So all we did there was update the appliances and give it a good solid cleaning. That made a huge difference in the space. And then again, the floors continued throughout the whole main living area. So upstairs, the master bedroom has a huge transformation. Again, very dated paint colors, old 50 cent laminate flooring was in there. So vinyl plank floor went down, new paint colors, new trim and doors were added upstairs as well. And it makes the space feel completely different. The bathroom, a huge update and one that any buyer is looking for when they're looking to purchase a home. If you have a nice bathroom, you have a much better shot of achieving a higher sale price. So you can see in here that we removed the old tub, retiled the surround, put in a new double vanity, made it much brighter, more stylish, and more appealing to the buyer. All the bedrooms received the same treatment, removing old dated finishes and putting in new flooring, new paint, and new lighting, giving it a good cleaning and adding new doors and staging it to finish for photos and showings. Uh, the basement was the last area that we had to tackle in this home. We didn't have to do too much structurally to change the space, but really what we did was painted, added new carpet and trim. And the basement bathroom looks a heck of a lot different, but we really didn't spend too much time or money in that space. It actually has the same floor that it originally did. We really spent a lot of time cleaning it, put in some new baseboard, a new toilet, 
and we kept the mirror and painted it white so it's a little bit brighter, fresher, and leaves no work left to be done for the next homeowner. So the backyard was also a big transformation. It had an above ground pool that connected to the deck previously. Uh, the homeowner had already gotten rid of the pool by the time we came along, but essentially what we did was close off the railing where you used to access the pool, and then we added a nice lower fire pit area in the space where the pool previously sat. It was already a perfectly level circular space, so we just added stone and a fire pit, and next thing you know, the backyard's looking great. One of the best parts about this whole process is the homeowner doesn't have to lift a finger. While they're busy going to work, hanging out with their kids, or going on vacation, we'll be there making sure the house looks its best when it hits the market. So if you've been thinking about selling your home in the near future, call Dua Realty so that we can take care of getting your house ready for sale so that you get more free time.